back. Hello everyone, luck, Ricky here. And a few weeks ago, me and a friend who happens to be the lore master over at Halo Follower, yes, that Halo Follower, were discussing the science behind some of the lore from Halo. Because, you know, he's the lore master. He offered to write me a script for this video, as he had done the prior research and I'm kind of just too much of an idiot to research it myself. Now a question I had asked him is, how do Mac guns work? You know, those giant guns that you see all the time in Halo? He sort of replied with, it's not too simple, but at the same time, it's not too complicated. Mac guns are some of the most powerful human-made weapons. They fire a heavy projectile with electromagnets and a greatly powerful electrical current that runs through them. Their real-world counterpart railguns are being tested by the US military in closed conditions, but are planning on field tests later this year, with mounted railguns on naval ships. Mounted guns on naval ships. Mac cannons. We're all gonna die. How a railgun works is a basic science lesson. You take a slap of heavy metals, run electric currents along two rails with coiled wires covering them. As the charge builds, so does the strength of the electromagnetic forces created. These forces then accelerate the metal to extremely high speeds, and when the round exits the barrel, it will be devastating to the target it hits. Theoretically, at least. Mac guns run under the same context to a degree. Max have various magnetic buffers along its barrel, each electromagnet section more powerful than the last. The term Mac cannon or Mac gun is redundant because Mac is an acronym for Magnetic Accelerator Cannon. There are three types of Macs in the Halo universe, Shipboard Macs, Mac Defense Platforms, and the Mass Driver seen at the end of Halo Reach and seen aboard the UNSC Infinity in Halo 4. Each one has strengths and weaknesses, and each are devastating weapons. We won't go into the specifics of each type, because size is the main factor between the three. If we were to build a Mac gun here on Earth in our time, we might produce enough electricity to fire a single round, but it would fry our entire electrical grid, possibly the entire planets. Now with that, we don't have anything else to add on to this video. So if you're still here, you've successfully reached the end of a rather short video. Good for you. Anyways, this script was done by a close friend of the entire Halo Collective, who just so happens to work it over at, you know, Halo Follower. We're extremely happy he allowed us to make this video, and we hope to do more like this in the future. If you enjoyed this kind of thing, whether it be the collaboration, or just the sake of us attempting a science video, let us know in the comments below. Also, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on anything and everything Halo.